Today we give everything we have, no giving up. Brasidas, October 422 BC. Hello and welcome to Visions of the Past. My name is Andrew and I'm the host of this Assassin's Creed lore podcast. This is episode 58 and today we're going to talk about the Battle of Amphipolis during the Peloponnesian War. But before we can talk about the battle within Assassin's Creed, we must first look at the historic battle itself. So let's cast our minds back all the way to the winter of 424 to 423 BC. This is when Brasidas, one of the most distinguished Spartan officers during the Peloponnesian War, besieged Amphipolis. The city was defended at the time by Eucles, who sent for help from Thucydides, who himself was stationed at Thassos with seven Athenian ships at the time. In an attempt to capture the city before Thucydides arrived, Brasidas offered to let everyone who wished to stay keep their property and save passage for those who wanted to leave. History says that the day Eucydides arrived to Eon was the same day that Amphipolis surrendered despite the protest of Eucles. While Brasidas began to ally with more cities in the area and attack others, Thucydides defended Eon with those who left Amphipolis. The fall of Amphipolis led to Thucydides being recalled to Athens, where he was tried for the fall of the city, which ended with his exile. Athens and Sparta also signed an armistice, a formal agreement to stop fighting, though it's not always the end of a war. And this one was not meant to be, as it stated that each side should remain in its own territory, holding what it now holds, and that it was to last for one year. During negotiations of this armistice, Brasidas captured Scion and refused to give it back when the news of the treaty arrived, causing Athenian leader Cleon to send a force to take it back, going against the treaty himself. Arriving in Thrace in 422 BC, with 30 ships, 1,200 hoplites, and 300 cavalry, along with the troops from other Athenian allies, Cleon captured Torion and Scion, finally taking a position at Eon. Brasidas took his position at Cerdilion, with 2,000 hoplites and 300 cavalry, but he did not feel that he could defeat Cleon in a pitched battle, or a battle that both sides agreed on a time and place. So Brasidas moved his forces back to Amphipolis and prepared to attack. When Cleon realized that an attack was coming, he began to retreat, being reluctant to fight before his expected reinforcements arrived. This retreat was badly arranged, and Brasidas attacked, eventually achieving victory. During the battle, Brasidas was mortally injured, though the Athenians didn't realize this, and Cleon was killed by troops under the command of Cleridius. Besides Brasidas, only seven other Spartans were killed, and the entire Athenian army retreated to Eon, though 600 of them were killed before they got there. Brasidas did live long enough to learn of the Spartan victory and was honorably buried at the Agora of Amphipolis, and the locals began to regard him as a hero and founder of the city. After the battle, neither side wanted to continue the war, and the Peace of Nicias was signed in 421 BC. So how does this play out in Assassin's Creed? Well, we see this battle in only two places. The mission We Will Rise in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and the novel Assassin's Creed Odyssey by Gordon Doherty. You can also learn about the real history of the battle within Assassin's Creed Odyssey's Discovery Tour. For the most part, what we see in Assassin's Creed Odyssey is the same as the real history of the battle, but within the game we get more details of what happened. In October 422 BC, Spartan Mystheos, or hired mercenary, Cassandra arrived in Amphipolis after receiving a message from Brasidas. When Cassandra arrived, she met with Brasidas, and the two had a conversation that led to the pair agreeing that Cleon needed to die, even though his reputation was spoiled in Athens. Brasidas then led Spartan soldiers into battle, and after Cassandra defeated many Athenians, her brother Alexio showed up and slew his way to Brasidas. After a brief hand-to-hand -hand battle, Alexios got the upper hand and impaled Brasidas with his spear under his jaw and through his head. Brasidas' death put Cassandra into a rage that she released on Alexios, who mocked her by telling her that 
she takes everything personally. After a brief battle between the two, Cleon shot Alexios in the back with an arrow, dropping him, but not killing him. Realizing his mistake, Cleon turned and ran from the battle, with Cassandra chasing. Cassandra did catch him when Cleon got to the Stemonian Gulf, and a short fight ensued. After Cassandra disarmed Cleon, she had a choice to kill him quickly by breaking his neck, or to kill him slowly by drowning him in the bay and bringing the battle itself to an end. While the game does give us a great look into the Battle of Amphipolis, I have a hard time taking it at face value for one large reason. It's viewed through the lens of the Animus HR 8.5. What this means is that the simulation of what happened at the time can be changed by Layla through her whole time through the simulation. She can go through this simulation as either Cassandra or Alexios, even though the path they take is largely based on Cassandra's life. Brasidas can be either friendly to her or standoffish, depending on the choices made throughout the game. And she can even choose the means of Cleon's death. If we want to take a look at what really happened during the Battle of Amphipolis within Assassin's Creed, we have to look at the novel Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Here, not only do we see the events of the battle through Cassandra's point of view, we get to see the thoughts and feelings of both Brasidas and Cleon before the battle starts. The battle itself started with Brasidas attacking the left flank of the Athenian army that was being slow to retreat with 150 soldiers. This led the right flank to turn and attack the 150 soldiers, and at the moment that they turned their backs, Helots, or slave soldiers, rushed into the battle attacking the right flank. Cleon sat atop a horse, directing Athenians to kill Brasidas, and seeing this, Cassandra rushed into the battle going out of her way not to kill anyone that wasn't Cleon. She did make it to Brasidas and helped fend off his attackers. When Brasidas went to greet her, Alexios killed him from behind with his spear and then lifted him off the ground. This led to a brief fight with Cassandra, and during that engagement, Cleon shot Alexios in the back with an arrow. After a chase through the battle, Cleon ran to the shallow water of the Stemonian Gulf, where Cassandra ended up drowning him after he stated that he couldn't swim. It's even said in the book how after the battle, it was said that Brasidas died with the song of the Spartan triumph on his ears. Personally, I take the novel's explanation of events over the explanation of the game as the book is not filtered through the lens of the animus. But what is the real effect of the Battle of Amphipolis on the overall world? Why is it even something to talk about at the end of the day? It is here at this battle that the last known member of the Cult of Cosmos made his final stand. Cleon worked to bring Athens in line with the cult's goals and worked to lead the city. Trying to rid his reputation of a play that was written by Aristophanes, he led the charge himself, which was a rare sight. Once Cassandra learned that he was going to be on the battlefield, she knew it would be the best place to kill him. And so she joined forces with her close friend, Brasidas, and made sure Cleon did not leave Amphipolis. The death of Cleon and Brasidas still led to the end of the Peloponnesian War and effectively ended the influence of the cult of Cosmos. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday for new episodes. If you love the Visions of the Past podcast, I'd love for you to subscribe, rate, and give a review on Apple Podcasts. If you have any questions about Assassin's Creed or topics that you'd like me to cover, please feel free to hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at visions underscore AC. And you can find those links in the show notes below. Until next time, my assassin friends, make sure to follow the creed. And to those Templars listening, may the Father of Understanding guide you.